damn right you're dead. Fuck you, Freddy. Hi everyone, it's me, Gaming Do, and oh boy, we are here, guys. We are here, and we have finally made it to the film everyone considers the worst film in the entire franchise, and one of the worst horror movies of all time. Um, we're at Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, everyone. <clears throat> and, um, I suppose, like always, let me go through what I thought of the previous five films. Um, part one, amazing, I love it. Part two, pretty decent. Part three, even better than the original, amazing film. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, part four... I thought is a guilty pleasure of mine. And part five, not very good, but it has a couple positives. What about Freddy's Dead? What do I think of Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare? It fucking sucks. What do you want me to say, guys? Seriously. What can I say about this film that's positive? What? What? It's Freddy's Dead. Dead, one of the worst horror movies of all time, and I will totally agree with that. This film is god-awful. But first of all, why don't we start off with the positives? What positives? Well, I have one, I'll admit it. The soundtrack for this film is pretty good. I like the song from the beginning, I think it's by the Goo Goo Dolls. I like the end credits song, and the overall soundtrack is not great, but it's pretty decent. We're two minutes into this video, and that's all the positives I have. I have one positive, because the rest of this film is fucking god-awful. Um, let's start off with Freddy. You thought he was bad in the last film. Freddy in this film is fucking painful. He's painful in this film. Freddy has gone from looking like a piece of putty to looking like a piece of fucking salami in this film. He literally looks like fucking salami. You know, like the, what, the freaking deli meat you get? The salami? That's literally what Freddy looks like in this film. And his personality is like freaking... He's like a freaking stand-up comedian rather than Freddy Krueger in this film. Oh my god, what a downgrade from the previous five films. Even a downgrade from part five, and that was one of my negatives of the film. But it is... Freddy is worse than everything combined in part five. In this film. He's worse than... He, Freddy alone is worse than all of the negatives combined of Part 5. <clears throat> he is so freaking bad in this film. Like, literally, he flies like the Wicked Witch and goes, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little soul, too. <laughs> is that Freddy Krueger? No, it's not. It is not Freddy Krueger. My god, that's more like Bugs Bunny or freaking Mickey Mouse. You may as well put Mickey Mouse's voice in there. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little soul, too. Huh? It's freaking ridiculous. It's like, I, I, I hate Freddy so much. What about the cast? What about all the characters? I've kind of given them positives in the previous films. No, not this time. They all suck. Every single character in this movie sucks hot ass. The only one I was kind of excited to see was Brecken Myers, because I kind of recognize him, but even he sucked in this film. He's just your typical gaming freaking stoner. And, um... Let's not forget John Doe, one of the most pointless characters in any movie ever. He's literally set up as the freaking main character, and then about halfway through the movie, he's freaking killed off. Like... There's a difference between what they did with Tina and what they did with John Doe. What they did with John Doe is they had him alive for half the movie. I don't even think it was a quarter of the way through the movie when Tina died. 
they killed him off way too late in the movie. And it's that's the reason why this movie has such... I'm stuttering because of how bad this film is. That's the reason why this film has so many story problems. Oh my god, the story is ridiculous! Basically, in the flashback sequences, they're just telling us what happened in part one. And Freddy had a daughter. Which is not interesting. Not at all. No. I was originally going to give that as a positive that I kind of liked the flashback sequences, but no. No, it's pretty badly acted, and I just... Oh, God. This film has a lot of negatives. And, um, what about the kills? <laughs> um, they all suck hot donkey ass. Let's just put it like that. All the kills in this film suck freaking flaming hot rhinoceros diarrhea. I, I told you, I was going to go back to my old self with this review, with like my emoji movie review. But that, that freaking, the freaking kills in this movie suck giraffe diarrhea. They do, they truly do. It's so bad that it makes me laugh. None of the kills before this made me laugh, but this time the kills are making me laugh in this film. That's not what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to scare me or make me at least uneasy. Nice hearing from you, Carlos. I was laughing on the floor during that scene, and I was like, that's not what's supposed to happen. I guess this film does have some so bad it's good scenes, but for the most part, this film is just plain bad. Plain bad. Oh my god. And we can't forget about the cameos from Tom Arnold and Roseanne. Which I just found creepy. That was the scariest part of the entire movie. When your guest star is Roseanne and Tom Arnold, not that they're, they themselves are creepy, the personalities they got in that film are scarier than Freddy ever is. Hell, I'm scared of the Tracy girl, the freaking fighter, and the girl with the bad temper more than Freddy in this film. She's freaking, she freaking kick my ass. I'm scared of a lot of the characters more than Freddy. Freddy's not scary in the slightest in this film. There's not even a scene where he made me uneasy. This film... I can't, I can't go without mentioning the 3D, can I? Um... 3D? What the fuck? Why? In Friday the 13th Part 3, at least it was okay. I don't think it was good. But at least some of the effects were really cool. In this film, it literally looks like a freaking Windows pop-up. It's like a Windows pop-up. It's, it's so freaking ridiculous. Like, Freddy's head explodes. <sighs> I gotta talk about it now. I gotta talk about the way Freddy's killed off in this film. It might be the worst part of the entire movie. Freddy is killed with a stick of dynamite. Freddy is killed with a stick of dynamite. Do you know what he was killed with in Dream Warriors? Holy water. He was killed with fucking holy water in this that film, which was an incredible idea. In this film, he's killed with a stick of dynamite. And he explodes and goes, as his last quote, supposedly, kids. And then I was like, I'm just laughing hysterically, and then the freaking dream demons, which are ugly as fucking sin, come out, and they freaking laugh hysterically, and I was laughing hysterically, and I almost sounded like them. Ah, oh, God. Fucking hell, Freddy's dead. Thank God, after this film. Um... And then, just the ending, it's the worst part of the entire movie. The fight is it fucking sucks. All of Freddy's backstory sucks. All the cast sucks. All the freaking story sucks. Freddy's dead. Alright. The one positive with this film is the soundtrack. 
everything else. Goodness gracious. This is not only one of my least... This is not only my least favorite Nightmare on Elm Street film. Well, it's, re it's honestly really close with another one, but we'll get to that later. Um, Freddy's Dead is one of the worst horror films ever made. And in my opinion, one of the worst movies ever made. Yes, I said that. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, is up there with the Emoji Movie, Food Fight, and Norm of the North as one of my least favorite movies of all time. And it never used to be that way. When I grew up and I saw this as a grown-ass adult, I was like, What did they do to Freddy? They freaking butchered him. Freddy really is dead. They killed his character off, and thank God the films beyond this, with the exception of maybe one, got better. But, what am I going to give this film? What would you think? Seriously, what did you think I was going to give this film? Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, gets an F. What other grade could I... You know what that is right there? That's a power glove, like the Nintendo Power Glove. When would you ever see Freddy wear one of those? <sighs> if you really want to check this film out, check it out for laughs. Don't expect a great Nightmare on Elm Street film, seriously. This film... <sighs> well... It's the worst Nightmare on Elm Street film. Even that film I'm talking about that's coming up later is slightly better. This is the worst of the worst. And I hope you like this pretty vulgar review. I'm glad to be back with them. And yeah, that's about it. I gotta go to freaking... I gotta go take a, a cold shower after this because I sweated because of this review. So that's about it. Gaming to here. See you later. Bye.